Moishe Kibibi, welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> Unajua, I don't know if it's, so you're a dancer, professional yeah. dancer. Yeah. What's with the hair? Like, <laughs> there's something about female dancers and hair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, we, I think it's because we see it look, looking nicely, crazy when you're dancing. Is it a way of expressing yeah, yourself? Yeah. Like, if I'm not dancing, my hair will be dancing over yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kindly <laughs> introduce yourself to the people and please tell us what it is that you do. This is your camera. Okay, my name is Moesha Kibibi Tajiri. People know me as um, is FBI or Moesha K. I'm a professional dancer in the award-winning dance crew called FBI Dance Crew in Full Means Focus Beyond Imagination. And I'm a mentor, a young mother of so many kids, 2,500 kids in our country. <laughs> oh my god those yeah, are many i know <laughs> just yeah. girls or no not only girls also boys uh i have uh i age from two two years mm -hmm. to 86 years yes so it's not only kids also the old men and women the disabled yes yes, yes. yes. you do a good job thank you <laughs> So you started out as a dancer. FBI is quite famous. I yes. think you were the only yeah, lady. Yeah, I am. FBI. So you stood out and you're just like, yes, oh yo. Yeah. <laughs> and then you you sort of got out of that and found your own space yes. to find a way to mentor and grow. Exactly. Yeah. Other young girls who want to be did you do the girl did you just focus on the girls because you felt like there were not many girls in the scene? Yeah, so I think uh, it started when uh, for me I was born and raised in Majengo, mm -hmm. in the slums of Majengo. Mm -hmm. So at at the uh, age of thirteen years old when my parents passed away, I didn't have anyone to tell me like do this, do don't do this, like and you know like so many girls when you wanna come from ghetto, mm. when wanna be, people believe like when girls come in from ghetto, like if a certain age, let's like get pregnant, like you lewe. know, our lewe, mm. like those, those are the kind of things people believe like girls from ghetto wanna fuck fire. Mm. So, and for me, I say to myself like, I love dancing. Yeah. And also, I, I also want to work hard in my studies. Yes. So, and at that moment, I didn't have anyone to take me to school or anything. I started selling groundnuts in Gikomba. Yeah, at a certain age of 13 years old. So the money that I used to get, I save myself so that I can go to school. I was called in uh, Ngara Girls, but si kweza kwenda because oh, of fees. Okay. So nkenda shule flani liku wapo Ngara in ito Ngara Queens. Mm -hmm. Juu ni shule, chini ni ba, you know those kind of schools. Know, <laughs> it was, <laughs> was 3,000 Kenyan shillings by the patam. Bora tu tu 3,000? Yeah, nizile shule tu, bora ukuju usome. Okay, usome, <laughs> upate certificate yako. That's so it. you went through that, you finished That's it. school. Yeah, and that year then Sakata came. Like, yeah, uh, Sakata yes. was huge. Yeah, so FBI, we participated like for How us. did you meet the other guys? We, imagine, sorted to mezaliwa majengo. So MJ. Yeah, you so know, my like, yeah, then my big brother sorted to mezaliwa KJ. So, and then tukasima to participate, Sakata. Season one, we didn't win, tulikuwa number two. Then we started losing hope. 250. Uh -huh. Then we say like, ah, to join two season two. Then we won. Like they say hard work pays. Yes. So being the only female, like, then nika get femme, like, undem peke ya nangangana na vijana. Then when we are dancing, like, where's you on the week? Like, yes. like ana dance ka vijana kapsa. So being famous and being an inspiration to so many girls who also want to become dancers, then Nikanza could get a lot of DMs and everything. And before that, the money that Tulipe were the one million, mm -hmm. Timo can pay 150,000 Kenyan shilling. Okay. So I, I say, let me start and pay fees. Nichukwetu madema po majengo. When you pay mefukuzo home, they don't have anywhere to go. They're even young mothers. No apeleke shule. Like it was 3,000. Okay, sawa. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Mi na imagine, but na nifikiri venye na taakwenda university. Yeah. Ni jilipie tu mimi ni songe na maisha. Yeah. At yeah. that point, mm. even when you didn't have and you were depending on mm. this dance, if you win, because yeah. I'm super sa guaranteed, you yeah. could number five, hakuna mtu nakotia do. Yeah. But so you needed to work hard, get mm. money. Mm. And even after getting money, unafikiri ya? <laughs> ah, madame, when you know, come yeah, yeah. So I say to myself, like, I want to be a change, like, to show the girls also they can do it. Yes. Even you can follow your dream and your yeah. talent. So, in Kachkoas, Chanaka, Kumi, Kaupeleka, Shule, Apo, Kalipa, 3,000 is not a lot of money for the 
ten girls like mm. so no no kuna pesa mingi <laughs> so and then i took a house of 500 shilling in majengo uko chini uh -huh. then ikaanza kuishi na wao hapo tukiishi nao so i didn't know like i was mentoring girls at a young age even yes. others who are older than me so at that time when the fba told kuwa famous and being the only female and i get a lot of messages and dm from different counties so that's where people ask me like ah 2500 uliwapataje eh hey, you kusabu, know <laughs> hey, so it was this it was sieti wako mahali pamoja no it's no, all no. over this country it's all over the country okay so at that moment like unajua umekuwa famous let me use this fame to inspire people to talk to them like eh hey, unafanya aje mbona umekuwa hivi famous like you need to tell us mwesha how are you doing it so i started something called coming to your hood nianza okay. tu yeah like let me say at nenda leo kibira majengo nende kuongelea shatu so i knew like these people they were poor they didn't have money to come where i am that's why i started going to hoods So every time to nenda show the money that I used to get na buy chakula part of the money that I used to get na buy food clothes then nenda kuongelesha na upatia So at that moment when I was going to each hood liko na have one on one with the girls and the boys yes. like about their lives the struggle nenda mpaka pale na issue so that you know like it's real what they are going through So that's when they started picking them like trying to help them you know Then after I finished all the ghettos I started going to counties So I started coming to your hood in two counties now. So that's Who's uh, funding this <laughs> process. No, the money that I used to get from uh, my performance performances in Dunia Zunguka now. Yes. So you don't have a sponsor at this point. Up to today. <laughs> Up to today. <laughs> yeah. Haja <laughs> mimi. Yeah, so like so people are like, "Eh, hey, we ina chokesha." So what channel now this you've sent a lot of proposals, you've tried to reach out to people, no one is doing anything. And then you have your own problems so a challenge I'm like no you know if you pick a point like you have kids they are calling you mother so <laughs> yeah all of them they call me you know itwa mama uko acho jafika 25 <laughs> yeah so um at that moment I'm like uko na watu in your mentality mshaingiza out to na kuita mama you have to know how they eat they go to school you have i have almost like 626 kids who are under medication yes. you have to make sure they get medicine mm. wakule so people are like ah most of my kids wako shule wanafikaje shule so you have money i'm like no in each county ni meandika shule ka 50 so what i do what i have i'm rich in prayers and positivities and confidence so i go and approach those schools niaje please support two three of my kids at the end of the day out of these kids there are 10 schools out of this 50 Schools. schools i know there are 10 schools itakubali i know what are what kubali but i know there some schools that are kubali so <laughs> so that's what i normally do every time shule kifungwa ikifika maybe december or january before shule ifungulwe i go and approach the schools in each county so na kuangana safari like every county so even every end of the month you have to make sure like women no stock ya chakula niende bus station niende market no stock ya chakula niende bus station ni zitu men to different county because you have kids who have to eat because of the medicine you have the old people the disabled people you have to make sure you buy the adult diapers you have to make sure you, have, you buy like alone yes Russia. like it's crazy now when the the covid came oh my yeah. god <laughs> so after performances zako zimeisha sasa wajua yeah now so that's you're not the challenge out there they're not yeah. being paid they're not earning <laughs> yeah exactly so i was like ah apa ndafanyaje so i try to call the girls when ye wamaliza shule I tell them like tuna natengeza crips cha easy chakula tunaanza kuzi supply tuze because hakuna option say like no performance no nothing it's something that I was depending on like for real so I can say I'm just living with prayers confidence and hard work I'm trying my best each and every day and every day I wake up in the morning I'm like okay I hope like hakuna mtu mmoja because there was a time I was every year lazima mtu huyu pass because the ones who are sick you know, have so many orphans and the ones who are maybe they were born with a mother to child the hiv that and all that yeah, yeah. so unapigiwa simu unasema i hope there's nothing wrong you know because in each county those kids kuna watu wanalipa maybe 1500 waenda kuangalia watu wangu because there's a time sisi fika quote even you need to have finance like it's it's a lot so maybe kuna wale wengine pia wameji volunteer wanaenda kuniangalia watu maybe in certain counties Yeah so you're like praying every day I hope what you want to come poor what kuna ule uta lose yeah it's but yeah. una kuna wengine bado unaishi nao size kibibi yeah so like uh, when ikikuwa kama holidays mm. unapata maybe this holiday kifungo hii holiday ya first term wale wa uh, maybe ni wa kisumu they come I stay with them that ma that time then this so kila 
kila holiday because most of the kids wengi niliamua kuwa peleka boarding school because you find these kids they're living in a place whereby there's a lot of you know kunauzwa you know our ghettos are watu wazi soma anaishi hapa kuna ba pa kuna buza kunauzwa nini so wazi concentrate and then you know the influence in yeku kwa ghetto like it's serious so i decided to approach the boarding schools so you can imagine like na wazazi wako wapi like most some of the kids when you were called, apart from mm, the orphans mm. do you have to go through like a, a legal process mm. um wisha for you to be able to mm. be a caretaker to the kids ama you take care of them from wherever they are yeah so like most of the kids apart from the orphans you find like the parents maybe they they're disabled the parents they're sick they can't work or anything oh, okay. yeah so, so it's like, not like you're taking full custody of the child mm -mm. you're just helping them where they are yeah yeah so okay. now like you have to make sure every single day i can say like i'm not a mentor i'm a mother to these kids like mm. you know every single day you have to know they have eaten wako sawa 2500 yeah. yes. <laughs> in each county i have kids that are mentor like every county those kids made me know kenya like serious <laughs> <laughs> What's the youngest? Hmm? Who's the youngest? The youngest right now is 2 years. 2 years. Yeah, yeah. So that one like uh, I rescued him eh uh, uko ghetto chini. So the mother passed away, so I took yeah. How do you get this information? Oh like you know like Nico I'm so intrigued and blown away no ata sijui kama nimeangalia hii script at all. I'm just like how do you know <laughs> where 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 yeah. they are how do mm. you cuz like, you know since uh, 20 2019 i haven't taken like or rescue anyone cuz you know you have bado ja uja settle ah when you come now you know so i say like until lile siku nitapata fund or god that because me i always believe like god time is always the best yes, time it is. and i've never lose hope in mm -hmm. these kids cuz they call you mother they don't even call me by their name even the old ones they call me mom so you have to ukona your mentality these kids have to eat these old people have to get wheelchairs they have to do this the adult diapers and all that so like hiyo ni time nikiwa ndo sana fanya coming to who they risk ndo nilipata information zao so ngastic na wao kwanza the 2000 yeah i can't add cause ukona mzigo wengine yes yes so 2500 you've been walking this journey alone yeah and maybe kiwa na well wishes mwenye atakuja kuleta maybe manguo mm -hmm. ama dry yeah. foods eh, so, so you eh. also have like drives where you ask for funds yeah, for like food like every single day i ask <laughs> <laughs> every single day so your every day is fun <laughs> drives day <laughs> when you when you, when, yeah. you, when you check at my instagram utashtuka like every single day i have to ask for sanitary towels i have to ask people if you know like uko na nguo to mm. please bring them please okay. the food i need them like please the kids are dying please like it's that's the only How option in mumbai yeah. <laughs> like for everybody who's tuned in today and you'd like to just cheap in i think moisha is doing yeah. such an amazing job and mm. to think that she doesn't have fans <laughs> and that you are working <laughs> and unoja <laughs> una beg on yeah. their behalf yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> like you are out out there putting yourself out yeah. there to just get something for them yeah. how can we how can we help Yeah. What can we do? Okay, okay, right now I can say that the biggest challenge that I normally have it uh, it's uh, you know end of the month you have to have food like the food stock. Then every single day you, I get phone call from kids like Shulet na itishwa even if you know our mother Mtoya Kujajioni leo ame itishwa vitabu you know yes. the fans those kind of yes. fans like you have to move from this place to this place mm. you know and even the clothes those kind of the sanitary towels the adult diapers you mm. know like if anyone can just donate in as a diaga to sana sana and even now you you see like every end of the month i have to pay like rent in some of the houses so you see now i'm talking that's fund lazima ukwe end of the month lazima ni kuna tafuta pesa hiyo ni must either way i know option <laughs> have you gotten some um to a point where they have gotten work Mm. on the soma mekuwa nao for that mm. mimi nilipata akiwa wale uliingiza pengine high school okay. wakamaliza have you mentored some to get into dance like you have yeah. if they're interested to do that yeah yeah like yeah, the dancers are almost like 400 i have dancers from 3 years to 17 yeah 18 yeah 
the, the dancers and right now then different different groups like right now if we bring the dance fraternity here most of the kids they are like my kids <laughs> yeah so um what i normally do every saturday and sunday like in the morning what i normally do is uh, uh from 10 to 12 is tuition that's first thing wanna do like lazima masomo tuition then from 2 to 4 is dance practice Okay. Yeah, like every Saturday on Lazima. So when you come to where I practice with other to Kona Rally, <laughs> like Nikona Comrade. <laughs> a <laughs> lot of kids. Sana. Sana. Kuna mahali watu wanaweza peleka, like when, if you're mm. collecting stuff, say mm. for example, we mm. had a diapers, yeah. food and stuff. Mm. Uh, do you have a central place where people can drop these things off? Yeah, normally people wana kujaga where, where I stay. Apple um, Madaraka, it's mm -hmm. just near Strathmore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Sana Sana Pia, where so we practice at Pumwani, at Pumwani, there's a CDF center there at California, mm -hmm. where Nakugana Watoi Sana. So the MP of uh, Kamkunji gave me that place only on Saturday just to use it for mentorship. Yes. Even now, you know, one of the biggest challenges are, you know, the the safe house, the venue to get, because sometimes when on Saturday, kuna mm. arusi in Afanyo, mm. so there's mm. no way we can do. Okay. So you see, it's an on and off, like, yeah. And social media handles, because I'm sure yeah. Wingy took social media uh, to get more information about yeah. what you do and how to get in touch with you. Okay. And for please offer help, like even volunteers to mm. just show up and help you. Mm. If you like to dance, yeah. you can come <laughs> help her please dance do. to the kids <laughs> on Saturday. Social media, maybe yeah. a phone number as well. Um, my social media is Moesha K. Mm -hmm. uh, Moesha K and for the organization is Divas underscore power organization and also for my the telephone number is zero seven two eight seventy nine seventy seven forty nine. Uh, yeah. say say that again. Two eight seventy nine seventy seven forty nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. even the website also. Uh, <laughs> the website. website. <laughs> the website also is uh www.divaspowerorganization dot com. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, great. <laughs> so if you have um, a child mm. who's three years mm. and you've taught them how to dance, mm. how about I take myself on a test and you're going to show me a move? Yeah. Oh. Teach me a move. Are you asking? Okay, you guys ready? Let's go. Hi. Cool. So. So. Mm -hmm. So we have a very simple move. It's simple called, move. It's called catch. 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 Okay, so we go on this side. It's like we tick, uh -huh. tick, uh -huh. tick, up. Then we go down. Down, down, down. Akirudia. <laughs> so we take this side. Five, okay. six, seven, go. One. Take, uh -huh. take, uh -huh. take, uh -huh. up, then down, 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 down. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's try. So let's go. Five, six, seven, go. Take, one, take, one, take, one. and up, and uh, five, four, six, uh -huh. seven, go. Again. Hey, there's hope here. <laughs> let's do it again. Five, six, seven, go. Take, take. Take and up and one, two, three, four. Hey, <laughs> thank you so much. You thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for coming through. Thank you for sharing your yeah. time with us. Well, thank you. And I wish you all the best. And I thank hope, let, just, let's just have the number again. Yeah. So if you're watching, please, you know, Zatuma and Pesa. Anything. Tunatuma Anything. money. Yeah. Tunatuma uh, diapers. Yeah. Tunatuma... Chakula, yes. all of that. <laughs> Let's just help Moesha as she helps other people. Yeah. 2,500 kids into her belt. And kids is not just kids. It's everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody from, you said, two years to like 86. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so your number? Yeah. So it's 0728-797749. Or the till number is 5866571. Thank you, Moisha. Yeah. <laughs> and God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to go on a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikali.